Good morning, St. Mary's. In the Pokemon Go update today, guys, I just evolved my Rhydon literally minutes ago into a Rhyperior. Been waiting like five months for this 2,426 combat power. Very happy with that. But anyways, guys, what it is, what it do. James, take it away with that Shea Cafe menu. Well, first off, we got the Global Bowl Teriyaki Chicken Stir Fry with rice noodles. That's right, we also got that vegetarian option. Same thing, but with some tofu in the stir fry with those rice noodles. Next, we got the Farmer's Market Organic Caesar Salad. Of course, with your choice of grilled free-range chicken or tofu. That's right, guys. We also got that sandwich special with your BLT that you can switch out with turkey. We also got a chicken fajita today that both come with wavy chips, guys. And all of these lunch offers, what is it? What do they come with? What, what do, do they, they come with? with? A lunchbox cookie. And? And a water. Woo! Please keep this in mind when making your lunch purchase, guys. Now, getting into student life, as today we wrap up Teacher Appreciation Week with a very special video. What is something that you appreciate about your teachers? Um, one thing that I appreciate about my teachers is just that they really like want to help you in the classes. So if you're struggling, they'll actually make an effort to help you succeed and they're not just going to let you fail. Um, and they really encourage you to put in the work to do the best you can. Um, they're pretty understanding. They let me turn work in late if I need to. They're always open for A block and if I have any questions, they always just answer them. I appreciate that my teachers are always there for me when I need them, like A block or homework. Um, I really appreciate uh, one of my teachers this year who tells horrible dad jokes every class period. What is a favorite memory of a teacher or a time they inspired you? I remember driving to a cross country race in Southern California with one of my teachers and blaring music in the school band. Good times. Um, favorite memory I have with some of my teachers is probably junior retreat. Probably my third period of epistemology class with this teacher. Uh, it was so fun and like a highlight of high school. What adjective would you use to describe your teachers? Charismatic. Compassionate. Kind and smart and caring um, and an all around really great person. Thank you for the video guys. Hopefully you guys have had some time this week to reflect on your gratitude for our awesome teachers here at St. Mary's. And guys, speaking of teaching and counseling today, attention all seniors. Every senior must complete the final transcript form and update Naviance with your college decisions. Please see the email from Mr. Turner with a link to the transcript form. If you guys need any help with anything, please stop by St. Joe's and see Mr. Turner or Ms. Tanzi. And in club news, congratulations to the eSports team, Team Octane, for wrapping up their season. Here's the roster. Ooh, looking good, guys. These are the best Rocket League players on campus. Good looks. And getting into the rest of our sports, here's Riley with a bit of a marathon of athletics announcements. But we already know Riley can run it, so take it away. Good morning, guys. Congratulations to Nadja Williams and Kiki Bonsali, this week's, this week's Athletes of the Week. Kiki is undefeated in his matches this year and has led the men's tennis team to an undefeated season. Congratulations to Kiki and all of the players on the men's tennis team. Nadja Williams led St. Mary's to victory in this week's TCAL meet. She won the 110 hurdles and her time is the second fastest in the NCS this year. She also anchored the 4x100 meter team with Julia Alexander, Anela Thomas, and Taryn Fedig to a section leading time of 49.47. Congratulations to Nadja and all of our St. Mary's track athletes. In a close match yesterday, the men's golf team came out on top of El Cerrito by a score of 172 to 184. The Panthers were led by sophomores Marlon Jones and Neil Lavelle. This afternoon, JV baseball is at Albany while varsity travels to Hercules. And in a change of location, the softball team takes on Skyline at the Emerson School in Oakland. That's all for sports. Thank you, Riley. And to get in today's birthdays, we'd like to wish a very happy birthday to Candace Baldwin, Danico Bates, and Josette Gomez. And over this weekend, a big happy birthday to Gianna Cruz, Ella Fonzese, and my very own brother, Cole Thomas Jacobs. Mm -hmm. happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Well, it's now time for round three of teacher trivia. Yesterday, Mr. Rogers Homeroom won. The winner's answers were Mr. Kelly as featured in Cohen Brothers and Mr. Rogers has an IMBD credit. That's right, guys. Again, the rules are pretty simple. And please remember, guys, only one email per homeroom. That is one representative to send one email per homeroom. So guys, you guys are gonna choose that one student in your homeroom to email Mr. Chiantella 
at mkiantella at stmchs.org with your guest. That's up on the screen right there. And your homeroom teacher's name should be in the subject line. That's right. And you guys are going to work together as a homeroom to guess the correct answers about the faculty members. The first homeroom to send in an email with all the correct answers wins for that day. And we're going to run over some prizes to you guys right after we're done with the show. Now, here are today's questions. Now, question number one, which of the following faculty members did not attend the school of the Madeline? Is it A, Mr. Bertero, B, Mr. Forte, C, Ms. Molinelli, or D, Mr. Lawson? And question number two, which of the following teachers played one season of college basketball but didn't play in a single game? Is it A, Mr. Palladino, B, Mr. Voltaire, C, Mr. Banks, or D, Mr. Sutphin? Best of luck to you guys, and we will see the winning homerooms shortly. It's Bert, it's Bert. And who? All right, guys, we just got the live news. Mr. Bert's homeroom won it again, as well as Wynn's homeroom. So we are going to go head over and get those prizes to you guys. That's it for today, Panthers. We will see you next Tuesday. Have a fantastic Friday, guys. Have a fantastic weekend. Enjoy your Mother's Day, and we will see you guys soon.